exciting day to talk about your latest project. Yeah, I'm super excited. What better than a Western? I'm a fan of Westerns. Awesome. And just for you, I wore my Yellowstone because that's the closest thing to a Western. <laughs> well, it's full. It's a official Western. It's yeah. It is. And, you know, I love how they, like, as a recent couple of years, the restaurants are making a comeback and want and getting more, more people being into them. So why do you enjoy Westerns? Um, well, first of all, I just feel super fortunate to, to get to do a Western. I got to play a cowboy on Winona Earp, the series for five years. I played Doc Holliday, uh, you know, an iconic Western figure. So I got to you know, experience that a little bit. And then to not have it for a while, I kind of had Western cowboy withdrawal. So then the script came along where I got to play a cowboy and I ride horses. Like uh, I, I like the cowboy in real life. Um, so I was super excited to get to this set and start making this movie. And when I found out that Emily actually rides horses too and was a real cowboy, I was like, this movie is going to be amazing. And it really was. It really was. Like it was just us you know, playing cowboy every day it was it was heaven I was gonna say and, and so you, do you feel a little bit of more emotional um uh, attachment to projects like this when people are passionate already like that 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 sort of ambient yeah I mean I feel very fortunate like I'm always grateful to get a job like first of all it's that right I'm an actor so anytime you get a job you feel pretty happy and you wonder how the hell did I ever get a job I'm, you know what I mean so I always feel gratefulness for that first of all because it's it's hard to get the jobs but then to get on a, on a great project is amazing and then I knew day one it was amazing like I showed up on set Emily was there doing her calamity and Priscilla was doing her Abigail and that was the first day I was on set and we were in the jail cell and I was kind of watching them. And I said, damn, these girls are killing it. This movie's going to be amazing. And then, you know, they said cut. And then we'd hang out offset, like, you know, just sitting around drinking coffee and talking. And the girls were amazing people. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. This movie's going to be amazing. You know, like they're professional actors and they're good people off screen. This is going to be awesome. So I was super lucky and happy. And I love the fact that for this film, you have, yes, the men are kick-ass, but you have the women, too, at the same level, like you were saying. Oh, I, I, I would say way above. I would say I need a ladder to get on the Calamity Jane's level. That's what I liked about the script. Um, you know, uh, the character that I play, Mason, there's a vulnerability to him uh, that you don't always see in a cowboy. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he's not the, the rough and tumble uh, hard as nails cowboy. I mean, Stephen Amell's uh, Wild Bill Hickok was more like that, but that's how Stephen, how uh, Wild Bill was back in the day. You know what I mean? Just that rough and gruff, what you think a man's cowboy would be. Um, my character was a little different. You know, he's a writer. He's a little more introverted. He's vulnerable, um, you know? And I think I was the sidekick in many ways to to Calamity's. Calamity's the ass-kicking cowboy hero, you know? Like, um and it was it was great to be a part of it's great for little girls who watch the movie and 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 say oh shit i'm gonna be the cowboy i'm gonna be i'm riding the horses i'm shooting the bad guys get out of my way uh i can do this um so yeah it was great yeah and, and emily can and can do all those things which made it really amazing the opening scene was awesome i didn't expect that but the ending was quite a surprise mm -hmm. no spoilers but i did not expect it, and i loved it because we can kind of create our own ending in our head. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Well, I loved it because you know someone someone asked me before. They said, "Oh, this is a real movie about revenge." It was great, and I said, "I don't think it was about revenge. I think it was about redemption." And I think that's what we get at the end. Was both these characters learned on this journey that that good people do bad things, and it's okay to forgive those people. They, you know what I mean. And good people should be allowed to be forgiven. I'm not saying bad people, but you know what I mean? Like good people make mistakes. You can make mistakes. We're not perfect. And and they kind of, they they just, they were able to redeem each other by the end of that movie. The way they left each other, um, you could see that they had been through it and they had a great admiration and respect for one another. And I loved it. I said, that's what this movie is. It's about redemption. It's not about revenge. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. She gets revenge. But you know what I mean? At the end, I think the most important part was the redemption part for me anyway. Tell me about the location where it was filmed. The cinematography was unbelievable. Well, it was one of those things where, look, man, we were super lucky. There was never a studio 
you know, we were, we were, we were actually where cowboys would have been. We were in the badlands. Uh, there was real horses and, and, and it was just, we were filthy, dirty and, and it was raining and we loved it. And Emily's like me, she loves it. She, she's not a complainer. She, she's just in it to win it. And that's, that's the kind of Westerns I want to make. It, it just made it so fun. Like I was like a little kid every day getting to play. And I'm like, how am I getting paid for this? This is the best. And we were super lucky because most of the crew was like that too. Like they just were all in, you know, hair, makeup, costumes, the DOP, they all got it. Like we were really dirty. You know what I mean? Like if I had mud on me, it was real mud. Uh, I love that dirt under our fingernails. Look at Abigail's teeth, how filthy they were in the movie, you know, but this is important. You're making an authentic Western, you know, we didn't have Uber Eats back then and, and, and uh, Sephora and. Uh... Yeah, we definitely did not know that or have blinds or shades to block the sun, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And tell me about getting to work uh, with a good director for this, because in this case, he, he faces challenges being out in the wild. Terry Miles, I cannot say enough wonderful things about his film sets. He's one of my favorite film sets I've ever been on. I didn't know that he was a very famous writer before that, before we had worked together. After that, I ended up reading his books. They're amazing. I highly recommend everybody go down the rabbit hole of Terry Miles. You'll understand what that means if you read his books. Um, He's incredible. But as a director, he was really awesome because he would do these really big wide shots where you would just get to play and figure out stuff. And then he would come in after for kind of the emotional stuff or the dialogue stuff. But it was just great to figure out to play and have fun and 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 just do cowboy stuff out in the in, in the Badlands uh, and, and just have the chance to do that and then come in and kind of take the time to do the emotional stuff. I, I love that set. I love that movie. I can't say enough. So which scenes do you enjoy the most? The ones with the action scenes or the more emotional, long dialogue scenes? Both. If it's a good script and a good story, you know what I mean? Uh, and and this has it. I loved getting to ride the horse. That was, that was great for me. That was important for me. Uh, I've been on so many other things, unfortunately, where just insurance purposes or whatever, like, oh, you can't do it, or they couldn't afford a horse, or you know what I mean? I played a cowboy that never got to ride a horse. Uh, so I was super happy to do that. But no, doing the, the scenes that had like just that emotional vulnerability where I sat and just talked to Calamity. Um, I really like those scenes too. I like when people are honest, you know, because in life, we're not always as honest as the characters we play are. And there's something about that, that just, um, you know, getting to be that honest, that raw, that vulnerable, that's kind of cool, especially in life. I mean, I'm not young anymore, so I've built up my walls and my own, my own ways to protect myself. But act, the characters you play, sometimes they, they break through those walls, you know? Um, and they're more, more vulnerable than, than I would be in, in real life. But the, I love that. You get to play a writer too. So are you a writer in any sort of I, way? I do. I do. I write comic books. You write uh, comic books? Yeah, I'm I sorry, do. I brought up the comic book. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I've written uh, many comic books. I've written the Winona Earp comic books uh, for IDW. Um, and I I'm working on a new book uh, called The Agents of Danger. Um, a very fun action adventure story. I'm working with a, a gentleman by the name of Bo Smith uh, for uh, Moonstone Publishing. I'm super excited. That's awesome. So you're a regular at Comic-Con? Oh, yeah. I get to go to all the Comic-Cons. I love it. They're my favorite things in the world. I was at MegaCon uh, this weekend here in Orlando. I had a film in the uh, Indie Horror Junkie Film Festival. Uh, it's amazing. Super fun. That's awesome. Well, now that you bring up something that you were in, uh, projects for this year. I have lots of stuff uh, coming out. Um, you know, there was a big announcement made on social media today. I won't get into it too much, but it's there. So if people want to look, very exciting stuff um, coming up. And I have another announcement coming out next week. I'm very lucky, fortunate, and grateful right now. Things are are really uh, working. Um, yeah, the universe is just working in a great way right now for me. And I'm very grateful. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm sure 
this 2024, it's going to be your year. It's from the sounds like and all these announcements. I need to get caught up. And you know what? I'm going to check out your comic. I, I go to Comic Con every year. I've been going for over 15 years. And I, but I'm always covering, you know, films, TV, but I need yeah, yeah, to yeah. Get into the comics. Yeah. Well, I do a show called Winona Earp that's based on a comic book. Um, so, yeah, we normally go out there. And hopefully we go out there this year. We'll see. Well, see you there. Let's put it in the universe. You'll be there. There you go. I'll see you at San Diego Comic Con. I can't wait. It's my favorite That's place. Right. I'll see awesome. you next. I'll see you in July. I'll see you in July. I can't wait. All right. Thank you so much again. Congratulations. Pleasure.